Zach, you wanted to talk about the real the Rob. Real Rob. Tell us about real Rob. This is an interesting story. So I I can't remember. I was on Rob Schneider's like IMDb or something. I was like, what has he done since like Deuce Bigelow too? <laughs> and I saw a real Rob. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I typed in real Rob on YouTube, and I saw these clips from like 2015 with like a thousand views <laughs> on his official YouTube channel. Yeah. It's like his actual. Yeah. No branding at all. It's really yeah, but it's his because mm. really? it links to everything. Yeah, it's his. And there's like three clips, and I linked them. You, you, you can find. You type in real Rob. And it says it's called like real Rob sneak peek. I think the second one's the best one. It's like Rob Schneider going to a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. and oh, is that? I've yeah, seen that. You can tell it's you can tell the Rob Schneider watched like Kirby Enthusiasm. He's oh, like, absolutely. I can make that. Yeah. It's easy. I, I think this he I think he watched uh, Louis. He watched Louis and Kirby. I'll get to that in a second too. Yeah, it's Seinfeld like, oh, because is it also kind of like the Ricky Gervais show or the where he was extras where he's like kind of. But the weird I've been watching like Seinfeld like, oh, every night Seinfeld? with Lexi. What do you think of it? I like it. It's a good show, right? I, I, it's not what you thought it was, right? It's like a cheesy. It's like a cheesy ninety show. It's good. Yeah, you do watch stuff after a while, like every. Every single night we watch Seinfeld, but she puts it on and I kind of like what's absorb what's it. Videos, and then I like <laughs> Seinfeld is the white while. noise of New York City. If you live in New York City and you have a television, you're gonna have Seinfeld. It's on every yeah. night. Here, it's yeah. on every yeah. night. Every, so you, you were saying like the whole. So I was saying so yeah so but like if you watch Kerber like a show about a celebrity, it's usually like the celebrities are really petty kind of you know neurotic. neurotic neurotic petty people like they're successful but they're still like they're really petty about stuff like a dog or they'll squabble over like a nickel or something. Mm -hmm. Rob Schneider did not get that memo. His show is about how famous he is, <laughs> how cool he is, and how rich he is. <laughs> yeah. And so the sneak peek on YouTube is he's like it really piqued my interest. I was like, what's this? And it's, he goes to like a coffee shop and the guy's like, okay, here's your coffee. He's like, what are you gonna tip me? And Rob's like, what? I gave you a five dollar tip. He's like, no, I I need more. You're famous. You could you could give me a hundred dollars. <laughs> the Rob Schneider goes, I could give you a thousand dollars, but I'm not gonna do that either. And I was like, whoa, is this fucking real? Yeah. And it goes on for like ten minutes. And he says, it ends go... with him. It ends with him. He says, yeah, he says, I'm gonna go back to my two million dollar house in my hundred fifty thousand dollar car and sleep with my hot twenty nine year old wife. And he leaves. And I was like, this will be fucking good. And so I looked into it more. And he comes back then comes and back. gives him a twenty dollar. Gives him a twenty. Yeah, yeah he gives like him he's, a, he's a hero on top he's of that. But it's supposed to be self aware, right? We're it's... supposed to say what an idiot. Yeah, no, no, no. But like. It's not that kind of character where like, oh, this guy's... You really believe that's how Rob Schneider like, is because he right. wrote it. Like, you know in Louis, it's like he's like, you know, doing well for himself and stuff, but he still has a shitty, horrible exactly. life. Like, that's what yeah. makes that's it what funny. That's what you're supposed to do. Same thing with Curve. It's like... You're supposed to relate, He's rich, kinda. but he... Larry David's like the most, like, petty, neurotic weirdo. Yeah. That's what makes it enjoyable. Who's the guy that you like, the comedian? Norm MacDonald? Yeah. This is the saddest part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that clip, clip was... Terrible. I think we say this. I think Norm McDonald's is one of the funniest comedians he of all is. time. One of the most underrated comedians of all time. I've never seen him ever do he anything. I've never seen him do anything. He plays a good chicken man. Absolutely. Did you say chicken man? Yeah. What, is, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I like how you started with exactly. Like you were ready. <laughs> I you were agree, totally I agree, ready to just be like, yes, Corey. Well, you're on board. But well, he's, he's on board chicken, a man. different ship, dude. I'll tell you, he's like Hitler. Like, well, yeah, I looked at his eyes and he believes himself, so I believe him. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, naturally, just a, he's a chicken man. And then I saw the fear in Corey's eyes. <laughs> when I finally struck when I was When like, Corey realized what he said, that he created a monster. You were on a ship around the freaking <laughs> Manhattan <laughs> Islands. Corey was on a ship to fucking Mars. He was, he was not this planet. But he's a good chicken man. Go ahead. Norm MacDonald, where the place could never done anything bad ever until I saw this. It's the saddest thing I've I know yes. that hurt me in yeah. my heart. Yeah. Like every, he everything he's like, ever been in. To be fair, it looked like he didn't want to be there. You watch the clip. It's it's Rob Schneider. The story is Rob Schneider wants to get a vasectomy or whatever. And the, the gag is that Rob Schneider is worried that it has to do with like memory loss or dementia. It leads to dementia or something. Mm. And he's like, oh, my friend Norm MacDonald got a vasectomy. I'll talk to him. And he goes to like a diner with this shitty, like, not curb enthusiasm music where it's trying to be that. Oh, yeah. And he sits there with Norm MacDonald, and Norm is just sitting there, and he just looks so tired. Yeah. And he never moves his eyes. They're staring directly straight. They never move. And he deliberately, I can tell, you can just feel it. Norm MacDonald's a really good, like, improv comic. You can tell he's reading up his script. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure what happened was he started doing improv, and Rob was like, no, do the fucking script. <laughs> because he's just sitting there, like, with no oh, smile. Oh, like he was yeah. making a point, like a passive point. Yeah, of, like, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. You want me to read every yeah. word just as is? Fine, it's that's what you really, got. really, really bad. And yeah. he's sitting there with a stick up his ass. He's just sitting there like, yeah, anyways, yeah. He, he does not want to be there. Yeah. But the most interesting thing about that show, you can tell immediately when you watch it, is I'm pretty sure this is Rob Schneider's choice. I think he wanted his eyes to pop because he has blue eyes. So the um, the saturation is fucking blasted. Yeah. So all of the blues are super, super blue. His eyes, everyone is, who has like slightly greener blue eyes has vibrant blue eyes. Yeah. All the oranges and blues are super turned up. Mm -hmm. Like the shots of Ellie look really nice, which is, hey, you know, it's not right. You know, it's fucking, <laughs> it's manipulated. But the show itself is even more baffling. The show is, the first thing is, it's a Netflix original. Yeah. But there's no, it's the only Netflix show I've ever seen. 
with zero Netflix branding. There's no Netflix original on it. I had to look it up. It's pushed to the back of Netflix. <laughs> and when they start, there's no commercials. It just starts the episode. I'm like embarrassed by it. Yeah, it's they don't really, even want yeah. to put their name on it. They didn't want to. Fucking okay. Norm at that uh, YouTube red carpet thing is the funniest video. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're at home, type in uh, Norm McDonald Killian on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's him with the YouTube uh, carpet, red carpet thing. Comedy he's with Week. These, Comedy Week. He's with like Casim G and some other YouTuber. And he just, he's like in sweatpants. So he's in like, this, this outdoor living room. He doesn't care All the all. stars are here. Rap I five. Wow. Yeah. Like, what do you say? What do you say? Like, get blasted. I just remember there's like this like go anime video floating around where it's like all the bad guys get grilled and it's just like a bunch of it's like Freddy Krueger walking in. Corey, you were autistic. <laughs> Corey, what? This is a... like Freddy Krueger and Chucky and the mom's like, you were bad. Go to your room. And he's like, wow. Then it goes away. <laughs> and then another bad guy. Corey, goes, I, thought, I thought you were going with my thought. You did it so naturally. I thought you were going with what I was saying. It was completely. <laughs> But there's like a related video of like a controversial go animate video mm. about a kid who puts his his baby sister on a grill and then eats her. <laughs> and there's like there's like reaction videos of little kids being like, "Whoa, this is messed up." You're gonna hear like fish tanks popping in the background. <laughs> it's, it's you can hear the parents fighting in the background. Oh, exactly. There's like 14 fucking videos on the side that are just nothing but that. It's just like these like kids that are like you can hear like the loud clicks of their fucking buttons. They're just like. That's you said so messed up. I'm, wait, I'm sorry to distract you from your point, but that reminds me of something really funny. Was that when, when me and you first started talking to each other? Uh, you lived there in Kansas, and oh, you, yeah. you had that shitty ass microphone. Yeah, I had, I had a fish tag. Yeah, yeah. One time I was like, Zach, can you send me lines for something? He's like, yeah, okay. And he sent me the line, and it was like, like a big fish tank, and his like voice like. <laughs> and I, was I like, think it was louder than my voice. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, Zach, I can't use that. Like, go into your closet, and then he sent me back this thing. It was literally he found every sound effect he could, and he layered them all on top of each. Each other like power drills, yeah, like yeah. birds, <laughs> like <an> airplanes. <laughs> I sort of like construction guys are going, Hey, move yeah, back! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got so fucking mad at him. I almost like punched my computer. I tried. The funny thing is, I took the original audio situation anyways and just added that on top of it. I didn't redo it. Yeah, you fucking asshole. I didn't mean to derail the conversation. That's fine. Remind me of that. But when you say like, uh, when it just says something like, he's killing it, it just that's what little fucking kids say. Because like, sorry, go back to your norm or your norm story. So Rob Schneider. So this thing is like pushed the back of Netflix, and the show is fucking strange. So he like, I was watching interviews. He was he was like comparing to Faulty Towers. Oh. He was like he was like yeah. Whatever. He was like, yeah, John Cleese and his wife wrote, wrote that series, so I'm going to do this to my wife. <gasps> and he puts his real-life wife in the show, yeah. and she's like t- some 25-year-old Mexican. 29. She, 29-year-old, sorry. Hey. Don't want to get confused here. <laughs> and he like shows her pussy and her ass and her tits in every episode. Wait, she really? Goes, really? He was really like revealing and sexy outfits. She's in, he gets her tits in every shot she's in. She's like, Rob, I don't know what to be in this like show. Like her he, bare tits? No, but like she's like really, really uh, her cleavage. What an There's asshole. one episode she's like on a strip hole, and then her, it's like a pussy, tight, like a tight cover, like a pussy, and like <laughs> panties. It's his real wife. Her life delivery is terrible. But it's fascinating. If you really want to watch something that's interesting, you know what? Watch like, even all, if you're gonna watch I watched it three episodes. Even if you that? are self aware and you're making fun of the fact, you're making fun of yourself in certain ways. I feel like the fact that you're still promoting the idea that you are this super rich guy with this super awesome car and this super hot wife, no matter how much you trash yourself or, you know, whatever, make fun of yourself, yeah. that's still I mean, it's the what main he's, focus. It's what he's trying to do. He's what, yeah. he's what, you can like, pretend it's not for that, but it's what that, for the, what right. it is. I love how try hard that title is, like, I'm the real Rob. The real Rob. Did yeah. you see that it. episode where he runs over a black guy? He runs over, he's and, got this car. And it's just really creepy how, <laughs> like, how the black guy's just there, like, with blood covered <laughs> over his face, and the cops keep talking to him, telling him how funny he is, and do his There's like a, yeah, there's like a dead guy that wrote with blood coming in his mouth, and he's, they're like, wow, Rob Schneider is like, can, can, can I get a selfie with you? Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, a, a glass of water. You're so funny. Yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> is that supposed to be the joke though? Because no one would no, actually no, ever say that to him. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but Chad and I were talking about this earlier. When it comes to Rob Schneider, it's not like it's. I know very few people that hate him, but I don't know a single person that would ever say, "I want to grow up to be the next Rob Schneider," <laughs> or like, or like my favorite guy in that movie, Rob he Schneider. Killed it. I'll say this: nobody's nobody's said his name endearingly like 20 years. <laughs> it's always like, yeah, Rob Schneider. Yeah. Those are those ever said Rob Schneider. In like a yeah. good way, like a long time. I bet yeah. um, that South Park episode had a lot to do with this. Like oh, that episode yeah. oh, made him God. into an actual joke. But he's always been an asshole. There's no, 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 he's just, always been an asshole, yeah. right? But nobody really cared or knew yeah. that. Everyone but then that episode like... came out. I was like, ah, <laughs> derp, derp, derp. <laughs> and then now he's just like, I'm not a joke. And he makes that show to look cool. Is. Yeah. Zach, have you seen the, the tagline of the episode that he's a comedian yes. who is more funny off camera? Yes. Because instead, this is the real Rob <laughs> off camera. He's the a lot best thing about it though is that every episode like has like two or three. 
parts where he's doing the Louis thing, where he's, or the, the side ball Louis thing, where he's like in front of a brick wall. Mm. But it's like a shitty, obviously, it's like plastic brick wall. <laughs> and he's very obviously not in the audience. Yeah. Like, he's not telling jokes to anybody. Does he really do the same thing Louis does? Yes. Oh, come on, dude. But he'll like do the bit. From like the episode, yeah. but I really would kill to see the raw footage of him with like white noise and like people coughing and like no, no, like all this <laughs> with his shitty like because he's just in front of a fucking fake like like so shitty plastic wall. Like you know the way Louis like like directs that and he yeah. stars yeah, it yeah. and he edits it too. Like yeah. I wonder does Rob like do any of that? I think he he said it was self funded, but if you look at interviews with it, the whole thing is just fucking strange. Mm. He did like eight episodes. That one with the billboard where yes, he keeps stressing he got half a million dollars to be in an ad. They, the fact that dude so. So the pl- part he's talking about, he like does this weird like Chinese erectile dysfunction. He's like, "You sure this is not gonna be in America, right?" And he goes like, "No, no, no, it will not be in America." He's like, "Here is your payment," and they're like at a conference with cameras, and the Chinese guy pulls out a bag of cash of half a million dollars in cash, and I was yeah. like, "Rob Schneider, that has never happened to you. Who the fuck pays in cash, you weirdo?" It's, an idiot. it's, it's almost it was- like the opposite. You ever see extras? I've seen. So it's like yeah. the op- it's like he's one of the guys from extras. Yeah, he's, he's like one of the guests yeah. from extras. Exactly. Exactly. It's creepy. The whole thing is creepy. You're talking about like adding like white noise to something. It's kind of like when people take the Big Bang Theory and remove out all the laughing. So it's just like these creepy oh, people God, jumping yeah. at each other. But mm-hmm. there's another one that's really bizarre that Lexi showed me. Uh, she showed me Full House without that. What's that little girl's name? Uh, the little girl. Wait, the Olsons? Olsen? Yeah, Olsen the, Olsen twins? the Olsen twin that was popular. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, what's the one? Mary Kate and Ashley. Nick, was yeah. Which one was the one Mar- that was popular? They switched out. Mary Kate. They're, they're, they're one character in the show, but they yeah, switched yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, but there was like one girl oh. in it. I forget. Oh. Is that weird? Is that fucking weird? There were one person, but they just alternated But the little one that, like, all Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's fucked up. But the little one that the humor revolved around, they made an episode where they completely cut her out. And he's just, like, talking to, like, nothing. He's like, I think, or I'll say Mary or Kate. I'll be he'll be like, hey Kate, what do you have to say about this? And there's just like no audio, and he's like, we'll have to talk to some people about that. <laughs> and it's just like the girl comes in, like the one of the old, little older girls, and she's just like, she, he's just like, I forget what his name is, but he's like, um, what's his actual? I don't name? like it. I'm what, going so blank, dude. What you're saying okay, is that <laughs> the whole show revolves around bouncing like humor off the little kids. Yes, and when you don't see it. It's like there's this one creepy scene where he picks up like this invisible air that's like Photoshop moving around, <laughs> and then he's like, "What do you gotta say about that?" And she says some stuff, and then like they're all laughing. They're like, "Ah, oh, she's funny. That girl is funny." <laughs> but there's like nobody there. There's no audio. Or it's just complete silence. The only, Zach, reason, Zach, the only reason she was so liked is because she was a sex object. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Zach was talking about. Exactly. Zach was saying that he'd like to see the raw footage where it's just like Rob will make a joke and be like. Ah, blah, blah blah blah, and then like you'll hear the compressor of the audio. Yeah, let's like, say let's say edit out. Say I want to like, hear. I want to see. Yeah. I want to get the camera. And just hear him be like, "Yeah, so my wife is Mexican." Yeah, and then you hear like that you little hear dead you silence. You hear that compressor go. Yeah, here's somebody like flushing. You hear the, the background, background noise cut in. Yeah. Because just of hear it. the real fucking audio. Or even just him like coughing and then the, him like <laughs> repeating the joke like, no, no, no. That's, Hold on, let me uh, redo that one. Yeah, I mean, okay, we're gonna do that one again. But his wife yeah. is the funniest part of the show. She's like, she's only her tits are in every shot, and she's like, Rob, what do you want to do today? And she talks like she's like from Mexico, Mexico. I'm, I'm not being racist. Actress, yeah. I'm not being racist. The first shot of the first episode is them laying in bed, and there's a large spotlight above them, and she's like, let me turn the light on. She turns the lamp on. I'm like, wait, the light wasn't on. That was supposed to be the dark room with. A big fucking spotlight above me. I was like, holy shit. It, it's a perfect way to set the whole thing. Maybe they show. forgot to color correct this. No, because they they color look at his eyes. His <laughs> eyes are like like this the color so of his water weird. bottle. Sometimes he has like white stuff around his eyes yeah, too. It's he's insane. like decay you, the worst thing is though the makeup, you can see where the makeup cuts off at his neck. No, like, really, yes, no, 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 it actually no. looks creepy. He looks it like actually, a corpse. He looks yeah, like that's a corpse. The joke, right? like, no, they, I don't, I don't think no so. it's just real. No, exactly. Have you seen that one? Like bizarre scene where he makes fun of the retarded guy as a mind. Yes, and the guy like, gets like punched in that? the face. There's yeah. no point. Does that he, show. I don't even get the joke of that. Does he ever get his comeuppance or not? He gets punched in one episode, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there's a lot of scenes. There's a lot of scenes where you're like, wait, what? What just happened? And you have to rewind. You're like, why did that happen? Yeah, is, is, what is the joke? Where you're like part? genuinely confused. Like there's one part where he starts making fun of a retarded guy for no reason. Yeah, he just goes. Oh, duh. It's, like, <laughs> no it's, it's like, why did you do? The guy comes. The context is a retarded guy, a, a mentally disabled guy, walks up. Mm. Bro, he's never been in the series before, and Rob immediately starts making fun of him for that's, no reason. That's pretty funny. But you no, know, it's just weird. It's like, wait, it has nothing to do with the plot. It's that's just that's, fucking strange. It sounds funny because it's like that makes him look really bad. Yeah, it yeah, makes him. But I think in his head, he was like, oh, this would be likable. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is relatable. But you see what his real? I looked up his real stand-up that he does now. All of the jokes are about how he was Adam Sandler. He has wait, one wait, bit. Wait, what? How he was yeah, Adam Sandler? How he knows him. Oh. How he's friends with Adam Sandler. There's one bit where he's like. 
Adam Sandler called me up and said, I want you to do a little part for me. And he, I was like, what's the line? He was like, you can do it. And now look at me. Look how big I am now. That's not He's at all. He never about said part. that. He never said that on Type stage. Type in Rob Schneider, you can do it. <laughs> That's up. Never, I swear to God. Said that. He's fucking deluded. And he brings it up several times in the real Rob. <laughs> he does. And he knows Adam Sandler. He does. He does. Work he sounds like Sandler. such a piece but of anyways, shit. But anyways, the, the, um, the like funniest he, part. He sits around with his like hot wife and just plays you can do it compilations on YouTube. Hey, check this out. She's like, I've seen these rappers again. Look at it. It's really funny, this part. But the funniest part about all of this, the cherry on top, is that I talk about it on Twitter. I didn't even tweet at Rob Schneider. I tweeted about the show. I didn't type in Rob Schneider. I typed in real Rob, <laughs> Rob Schneider, or whatever. I think he, and then I was blocked. So I'm pretty sure he types his own name in on Twitter and finds people to get mad at and blocks them. What did you say about it? I said the show is terrible. <laughs> and I think he blocked me because of that. He seriously just blocked you because of that? I was actually heartbroken. Trump, Trump, blocked, took, yeah. Trump blocked me, Rob Schneider blocked me. What oh, did you all say in the Trump? same, like, two days or three I days. I am heartbroken. What did you say to Trump? Nothing! I never tweeted Trump before! I praise them. Oh, you know what happened? I follow, like, that guy, TJ, the Amazing Atheist, on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he tweeted someone that he's like, I don't think I've ever met anyone uh, not blocked by Steve Shives. I was like, who the fuck is Steve Shives? And I clicked on his profile and I was blocked. He'll block you just for following TJ because he absolutely hates TJ. Is that TJ. really? But he's a... T Who is Steve, Steve Shives? I don't know. He's a complete loser. Like, I'm, I, I, I don't even want to insult him, no, but a he's a complete dunce. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. What does he do? He's like a cuckold where he like... <laughs> his, his fucking wife like fucking beats him and he keeps like saying how feminists are the greatest people. And really? Yeah, yeah, this is when I remember when I opened up and I said like these people who like sell themselves to feminists, they just give away their he's, humanity. He's the topic they're family. just like they're just like, I am a doormat. That's literally what they're yeah. they give up their life and they become like the fucking the human toilet waste they want always wanted to be. <laughs>